Um, yeah, so this uh, screen sharing the number one God Bridger and Bedwars video, it doesn't really prove anything. Uh, overall, this is probably one of the worst screen shares I've ever seen anyone do. Uh, I have no idea what this person is doing. And to be honest, this is probably not Canadian crap's fault at all. He probably had no idea. I mean, the guy doesn't even upload any videos to do with cheating at all or screen sharing. He has no experience. He didn't really know what to look for. So we got some guy from Zonix to do it, who clearly has no idea what, what he's doing. But okay, let's watch this video and see what the first thing he does is. The general ones? Okay, so he's in percent, 10%. The last time this worked was probably 2016, and this was used by ghosts on Zonix in like 20 or late 2016. Even on Zolus, people knew what this was back in like, I don't know, three years ago. This is the oldest method. This doesn't catch anything. The last time this caught any auto clicker was like two years ago. I have no idea why he's checking percent 10 percent. There's not a single auto clicker on the market right now. I bet you there might be one, but there, the majority of them do not show up in percent 10 percent. He could easily be using an auto clicker that doesn't show up in task manager. Or, I mean, it does show up in task manager, but they didn't check that. He could easily be using a auto clicker that doesn't really show up anywhere and get away with it perfectly fine. It's not like impossible to hide an auto clicker from taskbar those exist right now you can hide an auto clicker from taskbar but yeah let's let's keep watching this mm -hmm. again guys the reason why i'm doing this is because there's a lot of comments on my last video with para saying that he's a, a cheater and uh right now the reason why we're doing this is so we can clear everything up again this guy is a uh a senior mod on zonix network so you should know what the hell he's doing Actually, I don't think that a senior mod on Zonix Network necessarily is going to know what they're doing, considering that most staff on practice servers are simply are given a SS guide, which they follow, which was written by a higher-up staff member who actually knows what he's doing. So I highly doubt that this person actually has any individual talent of his own. But then again, maybe he's just bad at screen sharing. I'm not going to bash on him too hard for that, but... Overall, this is a really poor screen share. I mean, what is he even checking here? He checked percent ten percent what is dot Discord minecraft he did his logs he checked his logs which by the way are cleared for some reason um where is it yeah right here you see so that means he just reinstalled it yeah so he just reinstalled his minecraft which doesn't really mean anything in 2018 or 2016 or 2015 it only meant something in 2014 when the only ghost clients you could use were mods <laughs> like this guy could easily have had vape in his Minecraft, like, and then just be using vape in his Minecraft. Okay, so now let's just watch this, uh, him try to quote unquote God bridge on screen share. Let's see. Because he has a fresh Minecraft, okay. He has a fresh Minecraft, therefore he can't be cheating. Logic at its finest. Well, I'll, I'll let you go, Para. Uh... Yeah, he can do it. Watch this. You see this? All right, so. <laughs> I don't think it's safe block because he just fell off the block there. But then again, Vape has a direction check for safe block, which does allow you to go off the block if you turn a little bit. But there's a better chance that this is some sort of auto clicker, which is hidden. And the thing about that is that, like, it is perfectly possible to have an auto clicker. Like, they check his synapse and stuff, his click test or whatever, right? It's perfectly possible to have an auto clicker that they can't see, which is running. I mean, I have one that's hidden in a notepad plus. Plus, like, you can t completely hide an auto clicker and have it completely invisible unless you're, like, really searching in-depth into task manager, process hacker, and stuff. Otherwise, you can basically hide anything. Now, yeah, I don't think this guy's really using vape, but I really just disagree with this conclusion considering how bad that this screen share was. Like, this is actually atrociously bad. And once again, this is not Canadian Craft's fault. I'm just pointing out that this guy could be cheating still, and there's pretty much, there's very little you can do to really prove that someone's legit nowadays considering there's so many ways you can hide cheats. The best way to do it is with a good server-side anti-cheat and a good client-side anti-cheat. Those are the best ways you can do it. Screen sharing isn't as effective as it used to be. But yeah, I, just let me play this. Members of my guild, and the number one god bridger in Hypixel is not a hacker. Oh my god, okay, the EDM music is way too loud, but okay. Um, yeah, that conclusion, that that that, that didn't prove anything. It, it, he, he did absolutely nothing in this video. The, like, this doesn't prove anything at all. Kohi click test. As, okay, 
And the thing where you can hear his clicks, he could have just been using a right-click auto-clicker, right? And with a toggle key on his keyboard, and then just clicking over it. I mean, Hypixel won't ban him for that. So, I, I mean, it's perfectly possible to fake this. Or he could just be using a sound clicker, which do exist, by the way, where basically you just, you can hear the sounds and you can play them through Discord or whatever platform they're using. Discord, right? You can play the sounds through Discord. Those exist. Okay, that's a real thing. That's been a thing since 2016. <sighs> All right, that's pretty much it. I, I just want to point this out. Uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.